this is Kent C. Uh, I work at Novatel Networks, uh, I think. Uh, I actually put in my two week notice and uh, I am definitely uh, experiencing uh, harsh uh, circumstances. I am not able to actually uh, work right now. Not really. I haven't been given any schedule. Uh, let me show you here. So this is how the ticket started, okay? Uh, so, Ken, I'm unable to access the remote desktop. Can you check this out for me, please? Many thanks. This is our actual lawyer for the company. So, of course, I responded, you know, only because I've already been unable to access any part of our network, really, except the email. Greg, please give the knock a call to further troubleshoot. They will be able to assist further. They can turn it back on if that's the issue present. And you should be able to remote back to your desktop. Thanks, Ken C. Now, I actually have helped this guy before. Uh, I've actually opened up tickets. And uh, you can see, okay. You can see right here it says, Greg, your computer is back on. And don't worry, I'm a little shaky, guys. This is the phone. It's hard to hold it up here. You know, been working out, kind of sore there. So, anyways, still unable to access the remote desktop. Any ideas? So, here's how you know I'm definitely being harassed. So, you can see that the time, I uh, just want to show you, look, the 26th today, bam, you see that? So, let's go back, boom. All right now, look, look, I respond. Ah, not long ago, right? And I said, Greg, I would assist, but I'm not able to access our support ticket system. Let you troubleshoot starting by using your IP address in Telnet via port 3389 against such to see if it's open. Thanks, can't see. Now, the knock, here's the actual knock manager, you can tell actually uh, looping in the engineers, but I've actually solved this issue many times for this guy. You want to know why? Because I'm also an engineer, but right now I am definitely also a uh, knock technician, but right now I am unable. Let me show you why. Here is why I cannot access such. So this is when I received this, and you can tell it says we've deactivated your user prio Profile on Novatel Network's support portal. Forget the customer. No, I'm just kidding. The customer support portal. Uh, that's very important because that's me. I actually use that. This could be due to inactivity or due to a violation of our terms of use. So what did I violate? And I've definitely been active. Please send an email to, so there is the knock manager. To understand how to reactivate your profile, huh? I understand a lot, and I understand that I've been deactivated, but you want me to still work issues, but you don't want me to even review the notes that solved it last time, but I don't even need them because I know what to do, but you guys don't want to even assist the lawyer. So go ahead and let your engineer team to deal with it because I've already solved this issue, but I'm just letting people know. and. Here is the actual date to support what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see <laughs> where, yeah, thanks guys. I really appreciate that, you know, and I've been here for years and I've done so much and I can't even access my own notes now. Oh, and by the way, I'm still an employee here at Novatel. This is Kent C. Thank you.